What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're mostly going to be recapping the pilot episode of the Jeepers Creepers TV series in this video. But before I get to that, there's two things I want to talk about related to Maxine and also related to Scream 7. Now, Ty West is a Maxine has begun filming or at least A24 has let it be known that it officially is filming via a post I saw on Twitter with a license plate that reads Maxine and a caption reading day one. Now, Maxine, we know stars Mia Goth as the titular character, Halsey, Kevin Bacon, Moses Sumney, Elizabeth DeBay. Becky, Giancarlo Esposito, Bobby Cannavale, and Michelle Monaghan. Now, Giancarlo Esposito is reportedly set to play a CD agent type for adult film and Z-list actors. Elizabeth Debicki plays a director. Michelle Monag Monaghan and Bobby Cannavale are LAPD de detectives with Kevin Bacon as a private detective. And again, we know that this film will dive into talking about the commentary, of course, talking about the adult entertainment industry, most likely, and diving into the dangers of underground filmmaking and exploring Maxine post X and how this is going to probably be her same, the same outcome that Pearl had that Pearl was trying to warn her about. And that's going to play out in this movie. Cannot wait to see that jumping into Scream 7 deadline is reporting after helping relaunch the Scream franchise. The filmmaking collective known as Radio Silence has signed on to an untitled monster thriller at Universal Pictures. The script was written by Stephen Shields with revisions by Guy Busick. Radio Silence was actually eyeing this as its potential next project following the first screen pick, this being Screen 5, but given how successful Scream turned out, Paramount wanted to move fast on a sequel and quickly got that film into production. Now, with Scream 6 breaking records, Radio Silence turns its eyes to getting its secret monster movie off the ground and lined this up as its next feature. Now, I've already seen the assumption that this must mean that they are not actually going to be back to direct Scream 7. I will say this. I don't think they'll be back, but that's not what this means. They could be about to film this very soon because, remember, the rumor is that allegedly Paramount wants to have Scream 7 filming this fall in October at the latest. So if they are going to be working on this as their next feature, that's fine. That doesn't mean that the feature after that can't be Scream 7. That's just in some important context to remember there. Now, I do think that this film does potentially have a chance to start shooting closer to the fall when they allegedly want to have Scream 7 filming because Radio Silence also wants to do Escape from New York. So there's so much that's up in the air as, as far as question marks. I don't want to to write this off as a guarantee that they won't be back though but this could be the project that keeps them from doing scream 7 if they are not working on it sooner rather than later and paramount wants to fast track another scream sequel but again jumping into jeepers creepers so jeepers creepers the series episode one just recapping that for you guys and giving you the gist of what would have gone down in that episode and yes this is from the series creator so jeepers creepers episode one would have begun in the wild wild west and what i can assume is some early poho county area the creeper rides into town on a black horse sits down in a bar everyone inside of the bar is paying attention to it because they they all think at this point that it's some mysterious man who might be looking for trouble, I guess, or just someone who's easy to pick on. Uh, the creeper doesn't even respond when asked what kind of drink it wants from the bartender. Two men end up beginning to harass the creeper, and this builds into an all-out brawl inside of the bar with a few people drawing guns, the creeper dodging a few bullets, killing a few people in the bar, a cowboy or two. A father and son duo do manage to survive. I believe the, the son was named Jason. The significance of this opening would have been us witnessing how the creeper got its classic coat that it wears. Thus, this scene is revealing that it got its coat from a bar fight something that as i'm saying this to you is a callback to izzy from jeepers creepers 2 because you remember how gizzy izzy was rumored to have been involved in a gay bar fight or some type of gay bar incident but then the pilot episode would have continued 23 years into the future taking place after jeepers creepers 2 and we meet trisha jenner again with her son Derry, who was named after her brother we know who is narrating about the 23rd spring story that trisha has shared with him over his life at this point trisha has this terrible constant nightmare of the creeper taking her son the way it took her brother 23 years ago Derry is supposed to be visiting his father who lives out of state i would assume because Trisha has booked a flight for him to get out of town while she is planning to go see the Taggarts and help kill the Creeper while it's still hibernating. 
We are then reintroduced to Jack Jack Jr. and Jack Sr. at the Taggart barn. Taggart and his son discuss Trisha coming out to help make sure the Creeper doesn't return, the money she's given them to support the farm, and the two actually briefly contemplate on why they decided to profit off of the Creeper instead of killing it with fire when they had the chance. Now, at one point, Taggart thinks he sees the Creeper move, which prompts his son to come check on him again. Uh, we are introduced to two new characters in this pilot episode named Greg and Rowan, who are, who are about to spend their time uncovering all the Creeper's other secrets in this large cavern which houses our cathedral that belongs to the Creeper. They uncover dead bodies stitched together similar to Derry in the first film which prompts them to grow curious and investigate even further. A bunch of people travel out to the Taggart barn to see the Creeper burn to death and some of those people will be Giselle and Sergeant Tubbs from Jeepers Creepers 1. What was supposed to be a secret has become a known event in town because Jack Jr. told a few farmers. He reveals this during a conversation with Trish. Some people even say they are willing to pay to see it burn because the Taggers are actually a little bit upset that so many people are here. Trisha eventually arrives with her mercenaries in tow and argues with the Taggers about why so many others are here, which is explained to her by Jack Jr who says that the creeper has harmed more than just them. Giselle and Tubbs share a brief reunion. Derry is unable to get on his flight during this episode and Trisha has a scare with him while she's on the phone with Derry because she overhears two men driving the creeper truck and that familiar horn makes her think that that's the creeper coming after Derry. Now, the episode ultimately ends up ending with those two men driving the truck out of the impound named Manny and Bob uh, and again, I believe they were taking it from the impound. They are killed by the creeper who has returned for his 23rd spring feeding. Bob is killed first and Manny is killed second with the famous battle axe that the creeper loves to use. Manny's death concludes with the battle axe flying out of his back into the creeper's hands, which is something they did actually end up doing in Jeepers Creepers 3. So we have that telekinesis on display in the pilot episode of the series that could have been. I don't think we'll ever see this happen. The creeper ultimately ends up walking up to his truck, seeing it for the first time in 23 years, kind of embracing it and kind of just saying, hello, old friend. That's what I was taking from this. And Derry gives another voiceover to conclude the episode. So the episode ultimately ends with the creeper reuniting with its truck and then it will go from there in this series. Now, keep in mind, if you're someone who's read that cathedral script, you'll recognize that a lot of this was mostly just that cathedral script initial parts broken down into being the pilot episode that is what was playing for jeepers creepers of the series from victor salvo but of course for obvious reasons he's probably most likely never going to get to do this you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification so you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video